Adventures with Sail of V, a 1989 Precision 18. Hi all, in this video I shot some footage while I was out sailing of the OMC auxiliary motor mount that I installed on Sail of V and this video is showing you how that operates. So there's a red lever there and there's lower written up above and probably can't read it too well but raised uh, raised down down below so all you got to do if we want it's in a raised position now which is why the handles down there so if you want to lower it you just simply move the handle up to lower and then I usually grab up here because all you got to do is raise it just a little bit just a little bit here it click once it's clicked it's still held in place by the piston but now it's released so now you can easily raise it and lower it see nothing to it and then to lower it all the way down you just push down until it clicks again and now it's in the lowered position. So once again, to raise it, you reach down, move the red handle to the raised position. And this time, instead of lifting up, you push down. Hear that click? Once it clicks, it's released, and now it is very easy to raise it back up. Click, now it's back in. That's all there is to it. Really very simple. Um, I particularly like that I don't have to worry about it coming out of position, either in raised or lowered position. With the, um, the spring-loaded unit that I used to have, when it was in the lowered position, again, just lift up a little bit, push down, clicks into place, done. Now that it's clicked into place, it just won't come out of there. It stays in that position. And what I had with the, uh, the spring-loaded mount, um, motor mount you know it has those grooves where it's supposed to lock into place and it's adjustable maybe three or four different grooves um, different teeth that you can pick which position you want well I would pick a position and I'd be motoring along and it would pop out of position of course when you're motoring along you've got that force going forward pops out of position and the motor just flew up and you know this thing uh, would just whack me right in the back and that always felt good so I on one particular occasion can recall motoring quite a distance with my hand held down here to hold it in place all the time and um, I tried to fix that with some different um, items recognizing that it was popping out of the tooth uh, the position it was held in but nothing really seemed to work so I found this and uh, I did have to buy it used. Um, there isn't, uh, they don't make them anymore. So you do have to find them. Um, and I was fortunate enough to find one on eBay um, in working condition. So at any rate, very happy with that. All right, and another, uh, another modification that I did has to do with this um, uh, shift. Here. Um, the, the original shift is of course back here and in order to reach that I would have to 
screech through, you know, everything I've got going on back here. So I've got the backstay, right? I've got the, uh, the solar panel mount. And of course I added this piece of metal here, uh, this stainless steel bar in order to install this support, the vertical support of stainless steel to remount where the uh, main sheet gets mounted to. So it just creates a bit of a, of a real far reach, you know, when you're sitting there and you're trying to then reach back there, find that handle while keeping your eyes forward on where you're going. Um, it really became an issue for me. So I really uh, had to do some thinking, but found some different parts and pieces and uh, when all was said and done, I was able to um, extend that shift all the way out here, um, which just makes it so much easier. I can just keep my hand right here, one hand here, the other hand on the tiller while I'm uh, docking and uh, have a lot more control or when I'm loading up on the, uh, the boat trailer. So it's real simple. I mean, there's nothing to it. All you do is push it and you're in reverse pull it again, boom, you're in neutral, and then pull it all the way, and now you're in forward. Uh, this this guy here just is a guide and keeps it supported, so it's always in relatively the same position. So when you're reaching back, um, you can you can reach it and you know keep keep your hand keep your eyes on uh, forward where you're going and do exactly what you need to do. So it's been uh, it's been one of those uh, those projects that really made a huge difference. Forward, neutral, reverse. So all we've got is a, uh, a three quarter inch piece of PVC. Uh, I think it was originally a forty five. Used a uh, electric heat gun and softened it up. Um, and was able to slide that right over the existing handle. So there's nothing mechanical there other than uh, you know, on, the, on the original handle. I didn't put any bolts through it. It was certainly on there without any need for that. Um, and then these are just uh, you know bimini pieces, uh, bimini frame pieces. And these are uh, some pieces that I was able to put together from um, uh, McMaster. Um, it's a website. So I'll of course put all the links needed in order to uh, to replicate this. And then as far as the um, the mount to hold that in, that's just simply a U U bolt that uh, has some uh, has a coupling there, some nuts, and an eye bolt. You know, all the same thread count and size. And I just drilled a hole right through here in order to uh, to mount that there. So it really worked out. Very pleased with it. And uh, hopefully this helps you if you are looking to do something uh, similar to install an extension on your, on your shifter, your outboard.